lesson was about the volume of a cylinder and a volume of a pyramid and a volume of a cone, especially that cone. Now we're going to put it to work. Surface area and volume. As you can see behind us, we have a cylinder that has a cone on top of it. The grain bins in Alta, Iowa. So what we need you to do, the end result is you need to find out what is the total surface area of all the silver that you see and what is the volume of that cylinder with that cone on top of it. I have walked around it and it is 300 feet all the way around it. That would be the circumference of the cylinder. Each one of those sections going up of steel is three and a half feet tall. There are 24 of them, so you're going to have to multiply those numbers to get the height of the cylinder. The, from the top of the cylinder straight up is 12 more additional feet. So the height of the cone is going to be 12 feet. Okay. Now remember when you do surface area, that's pi r l of the cone, you will need to know the slant height. So you're going to have to do a little bit of Pythagorean theorem to figure out what that slant height is. Okay. So this is what you need to do. You need to figure out the volume of that grain bin, and then you're going to, from that, you're going to figure out how many bushels it holds. Um, I've written down on your assignment the conversion for how many, it's 0.8 bushels, is in one cubic feet. I have that all written down. So you're going to have to figure out the volume, and then figure out how many bushels it would be, and then once you know the bushels, you'll just take it times the price of corn, which is $2.80. I believe. For surface area, you just have a cylinder. We don't have the bottom part, and we really don't have a circle on the top because we've got the cone. So we need to do a cylinder, and remember a cylinder is pi dh circumference, which I just told you is 300 feet, times uh, pi times the height of it. Then the cone, remember, is pi rl when you're doing the, the, the surface area. Back up a little bit. The volume of a cone is the height. Remember? And the, remember, the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. So figure out like a little cylinder that that cone would fit in and then divide it by three. Good luck to you. You're going to have multiple choice. So look at all the answers for volume and surface area. Pick it, you know, figure out if you can you know, get that answer. And then from there, figure out how many uh, how much money that would cost to make because when you get the surface area 